This diary will contain all the topics that are required before advancing to the main subjects. So please listen and see carefully. All the best. Topic 10 Power Factor I sincerely request you to watch my previous video Power Dissipation Across Electrical Elements that is Topic 9 before watching this video. Now let us see the waveform for power across RL circuit. So here we take an RL circuit. The nomenclature for waveforms are as in previous videos that is voltage with orange color. So the voltage is as shown. The current will lag the voltage waveform by an angle smaller than 90 degrees because it is RL load and the current waveform is as shown on the screen. Now the power waveform we can draw that is V into I. So the power waveform goes like this. So what we find out is that the average power is some finite value. This is the conclusion. Note, before reading this note, keep in mind the waveform for power when there is only L that is when there is only inductance in the circuit as discussed in topic 9 that is previous video. Now let's see the note. So the brief summary is that when resistance is added in a purely inductive circuit the power waveform shifts upward so thereby giving us a some p average that is some the p average is a finite value so this is important hope you understood it now let us take rc circuit and draw the waveforms so the voltage waveform is in orange color as shown on the screen now we will draw the current waveform the current will lead the voltage by an angle less than 90 why less than 90 because it is not a purely capacitive circuit some resistance is added this is important so the current waveform is like this now the power waveform is v into i we can see it on the screen now again we have got some p average that is p average is a finite value so again please remember the circuit that when only purely capacitive circuit is there the power p average is zero but when r is added in a c the p average is some finite value so this is important remarks before seeing these remarks please watch power dissipation across electrical elements that is topic 9 link is given in description please do watch that video because in this remarks I will be concluding what we have learnt in these two videos. So point number one. Average power is maximum only for pure resistive load. Point number two. RL and RC loads have some portion of the power curve going negative. Hence their averages are lesser than that of pure resistive loads. Hope you understand these two points. These two are most important and we can conclude these two points if you have understood the previous waveforms and circuits. Now the most important topic of electrical engineering. This is the most important I tell you. The power factor. It is the measure of degree to which a given load matches that of a pure resistance. Now let us draw a power waveform for purely resistive load and the power waveform for an RL load. And now we will compare these two power curves. So from the figures we can conclude that the p average for the resistive load is maximum that is it is higher than the p average for the rl load because in an rl load the power curve is going in negative direction somewhat part that is shaded with the pencil so the p load 
for the RL load is can be written as integration 0 to t Vm sin omega t Im sin omega t minus phi d omega t why Im sin omega t minus phi because current is lagging the voltage so what comes out to be P load is Vm Im by 2 cos phi on solving the above expression and for the P resistive load we can say no we know that P resistive load is Vm Im by 2 so what is the power factor listen to me carefully that is P load by PR that is what it is the degree to which the P load matches to that of a pure resistance so it is the ratio that is P load by PR and what come what it comes out to be cos phi remember power factor comes out to be cos phi in the case when we are dealing with the sinusoidal remember this point so the universal formula for power factor is P load by PR but for the sinusoidal case when we solve these waveforms we get out we get the power factor as cos phi hope you understood it this is the most important topic and you have to remember power factor is P load by PR